Yeah, I work with rabbit foot minstrels. Minstrel comes in two phases. If you saw Al Jolson and a couple of others in there were doing what they call blackface comedians, uh, wanting to be black. They had white lips because they put that black stuff all on their faces. Cork, burnt cork as they called it. And to be black. They weren't black, but they wanted to be black. Only to make money off it. See, they could make money off of trying to be black, but we couldn't make the money trying to be white. Because it wasn't there. I don't care what you put on me, I ain't white. And you're not gonna get it. But he can put that black on him now, he's playing the part of being black. And they earned and got Big time. I mean, really big time. Al Jolson and Eddie Cantor, they were two of the best playing the part of somebody black. And I used to put that burnt cork on my face. You know, I, 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 I'm a black comedian, and, and I want to put that black face, put that black face on that they were doing so I could be a, a comedian too. And then I woke up one morning and I asked myself, why in the hell am I putting this black stuff on my face? I'm already black and I got a pretty black skin. You know, got a pretty black skin. Ain't nobody found it in me. 1956. That's when it was. George Klein, disc jockey on WHBQ, has always, I hate the word liberal, because it doesn't mean anything, nothing, absolutely nothing. But he's a little different from the rest of the folk on the radio station around town. He brought Elvis to the Goodwill Review. He brought Elvis to the Goodwill Review. Elvis went back. When he came through, people were jumping up and hollering and going on, and he brought him backstage. And we talked. He had a picture make, made with my youngest daughter, and she looked up at Elvis and said, you are my boyfriend. I just love you, Elvis, you know? And the whole family liked Elvis, including me, because I was the only black jock that was playing Elvis. And the PD had stopped me from playing Elvis on the radio because he said black folks didn't, didn't like Elvis. But after that night, when I took Elvis on stage, grabbed him by his hand and led him on stage, had on an Indian costume, led him on stage and Elvis twist that leg and did that little thing that he does People storm the stage, storm backstage, trying to get there, get to Elvis. And the next day, I started back to playing Elvis on the radio.